Hey everyone, I'm in Zillianople today in this cemetery. And a little bit over a century ago, my grandfather came to this country from Switzerland and built a house about a half a mile from here. He and my grandmother are laid to rest in the cemetery, and I've been out here a number of times in my lifetime. I'm reminded of a few very important things. One thing I'm just reminded of my family's heritage. I'm reminded of God's providence in bringing my family to this country. But most importantly, when I come to this place or a place like this, I'm reminded of how brief our lives really are. I'm fascinated by what I see on the gravestones out here in the cemetery. There are gravestones out here from the mid-19th century up through the Civil War and, and the 20th century, World War I, World War II, and even up into modern times, there are people who are buried in the cemetery just this year. And we can learn a lot about those people, the people who lived before us in western Pennsylvania by the things that we see on their tombstones. Many of these people were veterans of the U.S. military. We see flags around here. We also see people who have crosses on their gravestones, representing that they were Christians. We see pictures of Jesus and pictures of angels. We see on gravestones that these people were loving parents or loving children, that they loved their families. We can learn a lot about these people, when they lived, when they died. But the most significant thing that we see are the dashes between the dates. Because those dashes between the date of birth and the date of death represent the lives of these people, the hopes, the dreams, the successes, the failures, the victories and the disappointments, the careers and the raising of families. The dashes are what are really important in a place like this. We can't choose our date of birth and we can't choose our date of death, but the one thing today that you and I can choose is what we are going to do in the dashes, what we're going to do in those years that God has given to us to live here in this earth. James, the fourth chapter, reminds us that we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. As that chapter goes on to tell us that we are just like vapors here on this earth, that we're going to be here today and we're going to be gone tomorrow. And we want to live this life in the way that God has designed for us to live it to live in the dashes of our lives in a way that pleases the Lord. So this is our challenge today. Are we going to be like many people and just be tossed around by our emotions, be tossed around by other people's opinions or pop culture? Or are we going to live intentionally for God as if we only have one month to live?